Classify as a woman's disease, and I'm so glad to find other men here who have that disease. It is my first conference, yes. I am very excited to be here and to get to meet a whole bunch of other patients like me. The Bears. Oh, really? I appreciate what you do when oh, you're running. Thank you. I know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. That's I love awesome. it. Awesome. 20 years ago, I was told I had six months to live. But now, oh, there are, are new, new things being developed all the time. And the people that are being diagnosed now have a future to look forward to. I mean, this is the whole point, is to get rid of this nasty disease. So having the capacity to gather patient-oriented research specimens and information together like this exponentially increases our speed at which we can get answers for people. I would like a cure. Support. Definitely. You have a problem if you post it, somebody knows how to help you in some kind of way anyway, I think. The internet, I've met several people my age, not only to help with my fundraising, but to get to know people in the PH community. One of the most amazing parts of this is the fact that we were able to increase awareness and we were able to touch millions of people and educate millions of people about pulmonary hypertension. It's very, very important because you get a lot of information that you don't really get uh, by speaking phone or, or email. I found that there is a special book for survival guide. Uh, I was volunteer to translate it to Farsi for uh, Iranian people who have the same problem. PHA at the beginning of our amazing journey and you've used your wisdom to gain our success and now we know absolutely anything is possible. a whole set of PHA Board of Trustees baseball cards. Look, here's Mark Jeter. I got the PH Young Citizen Award. I got it for my fundraising that I do. I've done two fundraisers in the last two years.
really the patients. It's a privilege to care for you, and I'm inspired by um, your will and your spirit every single day. The meeting you, the talking to you, the seeing the, your, you know, hearing your stories uh, really refocuses, reminds us that why we do what we do. I have the tattoo of the pulmonary hypertension awareness ribbon on the back of my hand because I want people to ask me about the disease so I can educate more people because people don't understand it. There's so many people. I was like, wow, I had no idea it was going to be so many people and so many doctors and researchers. And I think that you can have a little bit of a window of maybe a small glimpse of what these patients are going through so you can care for them better. And I think that's very different than a lot of the other nursing experiences that I've had. The most important thing is the spirit. The spirit of uh, having one goal together to find a cure. I hadn't had pH since 1983. Yeah. 83, going on 30 years, and uh, I'll be 53 my birthday. July 19th, I'll be 53 years old. Um, like, I'll tell them how good it is, and like, if they have a bad time with pH, I just tell them, yeah, it's like, it's gonna be okay.